Hey, thanks for tuning in. Again, our zone, Vista, California. Episode 99. Yogi Berra, New York Yankees. 19 years. Catcher. Hall of Fame. Very much deserved it. Now, his stats are not eye popping. But what is incredible, stupendous, and almost unbelievable is that he has 10 World Series rings, titles, championships. 10. Nobody else has more or even tied him. I think Joe DiMaggio had nine, and some of the other Yankees are in the eights. Babe Ruth had seven. Lou Gehrig had six. But Yogi Berra, 1946 through 1965. 19 years. 2,120 games. 8,364 at-bats. 2,150 hits. 321 doubles. There's a good stat. For a catcher, 358 home runs. And even a better stat, 1,430 RBIs in 19 years. 285 lifetime batting average. Is Yogi Berra Hall of Fame? Yes. Why? Well, let's go over, let's see, how many times over 300? One, two, three... Just three times over 300. And how many 100 RBI seasons? One, two, three, four, five. He had five of those. Plus he had a 98, a 91, and a 90. Two 98s, a 91, and a 90. So he could have had eight or nine of those. Highest hit total, 192 hits. And he scored 116 runs one season. So 1,175 runs scored. I think the RBI and the home runs got him in. 358 homers, 1,430 RBI. Look at his career, 21 years old, 1946, seven games. Two homers. 1947, 11 homers. 1948, 14 homers, 98 RBI. 1949, 20 homers, 91 RBI. 1950, 28 homers, 124 RBIs, 322 batting average. You got to say that would be his best year. 192 hits, 28 homers, 124 RBI, 322. Yogi Berra. 1951, 27 homers, 88 RBI. Next year, 30 homers, 98 RBI. Next year, 27 homers. 108 RBI. Next year, 22 homers, 105. No, 125 RBI. Next year, 27 homers, 108 RBI. Next year, 30 homers, 105 RBI. Next year, 24 homers, 82 RBI. So he, he can hit the ball. He's a slugger and an RBI producer. 1958 is 33 years old, 22 homers, 90 RBI. Then the next year, 19 homers, 69. Next year, 15 homers, 62 RBI. Next year, 22 homers, 61 RBI. 1963 is 38 years old, 8 homers. 1964, he didn't play. And then 1965, 4 games. So how does Yogi Berra make the Hall of Fame? Well, he's a catcher. He can hit the ball out of the park. He's an RBI machine. 1,430. If he had played just one more year there, he could have got up to the 1,500 mark. 285 lifetime batting average. You know what? He didn't strike out that much either. 400 strikeouts in 19 years. Just a dependable guy, really. 
He had double digit home runs in 18 out of his 19 years, double digits. Over 20 homers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 times over 20 or more homers. And I told you he had five 100 RBI seasons, and then he had two 98s, a 91, and a 90, and then some 80s. So a dependable guy you can count on, Yogi Berra. Okay, who's next? I believe this is episode 99, right? Yes, Yogi Bear is 99. Who should be 100 on the list? Who should be my episode 100? Just as a round, nice figure. Who should I pick? I've still got about 60 to go. Yeah. Maybe 55 to 60 more players to highlight. Because the ones I'm doing are in the Hall of Fame. Not the present day players and not the ones who has disputed stats because of steroids. So, have you noticed that between numbers between 100 and 99, the first 20 or 30 were just incredible stats just off the chart run producers home runs hits highest batting average those first 20 then the next 20 or 30 good stats and then this last 25 some of the stats are kind of like evened out but still made the haul and then these next 60 i do or maybe another 55 or so that i do will uh be average to lower stats, but they still made the haul. Then after I'm done with about like 160 ball players who are everyday ball players in the Hall of Fame, then I'm going to go to pitchers. I'm going to keep the episode guy going, and we'll see how many Hall of Fame pitchers make the list. I think it's about, could be around 100 of those. We'll see how that goes. But I'm debating who should be number one on my, or 100 on this list, I'm looking at the numbers. Who really stands out? I tell you what, let's do the player who just revolutionized the whole game, who really had an impact on the game and kind of laid, kind of carved out a path for future players. You know who I'm talking about? Yep, I'm going to do it, even though he played 10 years. My number 100 episode is going to be Jackie Robinson, and what a player. Thanks for watching. I'm out.